the launch of Bitcoin exchange-traded funds ETFs in January, failed to boost prices as traders focused on the outflows from the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, ignoring the net inflows into the remaining ETFs. This shows that the traders sought to sell the news and book profits on their positions. Miss uh, so, however, a positive sign is that Bitcoin did not stay below the $40,000 level for long. And so this indicates that uh, lower levels continue to attract investors. Uh, buying on dips and selling on rallies may keep Bitcoin inside a range for a few days. Uh, the next major catalyst for Bitcoin is the halving in April. Uh, um, another positive in favor of the bulls is that Bitcoin has produced an average monthly gain of about 12% in February, according to CoinGlass data since 2013. Uh, Bitcoin has ended February with a negative monthly return only in 2014 and 2020. So, uh, making sure that you could Bitcoin repeat its strong historical performance in February due with in front of them. Will all coins follow Bitcoin higher? Let's analyze the charts of the top 10 cryptocurrencies to find out. And Bitcoin has been trading between the 20 day exponential moving average and the overhead resistance of $44,700 for the past few days. The 20-day EMA has started to turn up gradually, and the RSI has risen into a positive territory, indicating a minor advantage to buyers. If bulls overcome the barrier to $44,700, the BTC, or USDT pair, could attempt to rally to $49,000. The bears are expected to defend this level aggressively. If the price turns down and plunges below the 20-day EMA, it will indicate that bears are trying to take charge the selling could pick up on a slump below $41,394. The pair may then descend to $40,000 and later to $37,980. Um, Ether remains stuck inside the $2,100 to $2,400 range, um, but the bulls have not given up and are trying to kick the price above the overhead resistance. A close above $2,400 will be the first sign of strength that could attract further buying, pushing the ETH USDT pair toward $2,700. If the price turns down from $2,700 but rebounds off $2,400, it will indicate that the sentiment has turned positive. That will enhance the prospects of a rally to $3,000. If the price turns down sharply from the current level or $2,400, it will indicate that the pair may spend some more time inside the range. The bears will be at an advantage if the price dies below $2,100. Uh, BNB slipped below uh, the 20-day EMA 304 on January 31st, but the bears could not break the 50-day SMA support. Uh, people and the 20-day EMA has flattened out. And the RSI is near the midpoint, signaling a balance between supply and demand. A break above the downtrend line will tilt the standard balance in favor of the buyers. There is a minor resistance at $322, but if crossed, the BNB USDT pair may soar to $338. Uh, contrarily, uh, if the uh, price turns lower from the downtrend line, it will indicate that the sentiment remains negative and the bears are selling on rallies, that increases the risk of a break below $288. And so on a turn down from the overhead resistance at $107 on January 30th, but rebounded off the moving averages on February 1st. And the bulls will try to drive the price above $107. And uh, if they can pull it off, the sole USDT pair will complete an inverse head and shoulders pattern that may start and up move to $126, which is a strong hurdle. But if the bulls prevail, the next stop could be the pattern target of $134. Uh, if bears want to prevent the upward move, they will have to quickly tap the price below the moving averages. The pair could drop to $80, which is likely to act as a strong support. Sellers yanked XRP below the 50 cent support on January 31, but the long tail on the candlestick shows buying at lower levels. And a break above the 51 cents resistance could clear the path for a rally to the 20 day EMA. The bears are expected to defend this level with vigor. The price turns down from a 20 day 
EMA, the XRP USDT pair, could plunge to 46 cents. The first sign of strength will be a break and close above the 20-day EMA. The pair may then travel to the downtrend line. Buyers will have to overcome this obstacle to start a new up move to 67 cents. Uh, Cardano has been trading inside a descending channel pattern for several days, indicating that the bears continue selling on rallies um, and the flattish 20-day EMA and 51 cents. And the RSI near the midpoint do not give a clear advantage either to the bulls or the bears. If the price maintains above the 20-day EMA, the bulls will try to push the ADA USDT pair to the downtrend line. A break and close above this level will suggest that the short-term downtrend may be over. Um, the critical level to watch on the downside uh, is 46 cents and then the support line of the channel near 40 cents. Avalanche plunged below the 20-day EMA, uh, $34.29 uh, on January 31st, uh, but the bears could not build upon this strength. The price climbed above the 20-day EMA on February 2, indicating that lower levels are attracting buyers. This increases the likelihood of a break above the channel's downtrend line. If that happens, the AVAX USDT pair could start an up move to $44 and subsequently to the crucial resistance of $50. And this positive view will be invalidated in the near term if the price reverses direction from the downtrend line and breaks below $32. That'll set the stage for a decline to the support line of the channel. Uh, Dogecoin has been trading below the 20-day EMA for the past few days. Uh, but the bears have not been able to challenge the seven cents uh, support. Um, and this suggests that selling dries up at lower levels. Uh, buyers will try to push the price above the 20-day EMA and uh, gain the upper hand in the near term. Um, if they succeed, the Doge USDT pair uh, could rally to watch the downtrend line. This remains the key level to watch out for as the bears have successfully defended the level for uh, many days. Uh, and if the price turns down from the downtrend line, it will indicate that the bears have not given up. And the pair may then slide to the seven cents support. And the other hand, a break above the downtrend line will signal a potential trend change. The pair may then rise to the 10 cents to 11 cents resistance zone. The bears pulled polka dot below the neckline of the H&S pattern on January 31, but they could not sustain the lower levels. And solid buying by the bulls pushed the price to the 20-day MA on February 2. So a break in close above the 50-day SMA will indicate that the bears are losing their grip. That could open the doors for a rally to $8.50. Uh, uh, contrary to this assumption, if the price turns down from the moving averages, it will signal that the bears remain active at higher levels. The, the DOT USDT bear may consolidate between the 50-day SMA and $6 for a few days. It'll try to chain link range bound action resolved to the upside with a breakout above $17.32 on February 2, suggesting that the buyers have overpowered the sellers. Uh, however, the bears are unlikely to give up easily um, and um, will try to pull the price back below the breakout level. Um, if they manage to do that, several aggressive uh, bulls may get trapped. That may result in a, a fall to the 20-day EMA, $15.38. Instead, the buyers maintain the price above $17.32, it will suggest a valid breakout. The $17.32 level may then act as a launch pad, propelling the Link USDT pair target objective of $21.79.